This story is about the beautiful old barn of our rural areas and these Appalachians. A lot of people took these for granted. I know I did growing up. You've seen them everywhere. Some of these were three stories high. And they are really good landscapes back in the day. But I hate to say that you've noticed as much as I have if you've been out in these back country. A lot of them's going away year after year. Either weather or just neglect or just time. Now these old Appalachians, all down in these mountains and these hollers, on these ridges, valleys, farms everywhere, little small farms, always been that way, but they're slowly going away. Now to see these old barns back off the back, back country, you, you can't get on these main roads. This is where life still goes on. And you see stuff like this. These old barns are still here. People try their best to take care of them. Some of them are over 100, 150 years old. And it's a lot of keep on these old barns. The storm and the weather and time takes its toll on them. But they're still around. People try their best to take care of them put new roofs on them and everything else. This is a livelihood for a lot of people back in the day. This was their life, and it still is in a lot of places. Here's an old dairy barn. They used to be littered all over the countryside. Little dairy farms, now, only the big corporate dairy farms have them. They're all gone, the mom and pops, like this. Everybody milked their cows, sold their milk. They would pick it up. Them days is gone. Just a big corporation. And every little farm was self-sufficient. Sold their own milk. Made their own product. And everything centered around the barn, on the little farm. All the animals, the livestock. This was, besides the house, this is this is the life around the farm, the old barn. And here wasn't nothing growing up on top of these ridges. You could see a barn way off any which way you look. There'd be a barn and somebody working the field. That's the way it was. Now they started out in this old country building barns like this, just out of just out of logs. You can see how they're made right here. Just enough to get their livestock out of the weather. Beautiful old barn. This is in the Great Smoky Mountains here, Roaring Fork. You can see how they made them. And they didn't have no tin in them days. They split their own shingles out of oak. They called them shakes. Down there's the old house, a little old smoke house. These are times gone by. And in places like this in the Great Smoky Mountains, this is a cage cove. They made some strange barns, but they were efficient. You could pull stuff right up out of the weather here. And back in them days, when they started building these barns, they'd just drag off their land, cut down the logs and drag them out, and build them a barn with them. And as time went on, when they got these little sawmills in, they would drag them down to the sawmill and cut rough lumber to build their barns with. Or they'd just go down and trade or buy some rough lumber to build them a barn with. But this is how they done these old barns that we see today. Stuff like this. 
that rough lumber all around it, combined with the old logs underneath it, they just added on. And the old tack it hung around and under these barns all the time, thing of the past. And here at Cage Cove, they still, they use the old with the new. The old logs, chestnut logs mostly, with the new uh, rough sawed lumber that they put on it. And still had shakes on the top of it for a roof. But we know most of our barns growing up in these old mountains like this. Out in the rural areas, this is Hancock County. And then tin come into existence, they start putting tin on these barns. This is what we see all our time growing up in these mountains. Old barns. Here's an old barn, just an old farm. Thing of the past. See the old logs combined with the new rough sawed lumber. That's where they had a little old taking hay up, thing of the past, old wagon, that is old, that's before the old tractor come into existence, this is their workhorse wagon, their truck of the day, the old dairy farms here, Times have gone by. Now how many of us as a kid played in these lofts and these barns, this hay? The old, old rough lumber. And you see stuff like this around the old farm. Especially these old farms is not being used no more. Generation after generation. Stuff just sitting and rusting away. Here's an old field cutting machine to cut hay with. How many hours has been put on that? Old museum pieces now. And the old rake, how did they cut it? They'd rake it up where they could get it up with their hay baler, them old square bales back in them days. And the old tractors, you see them sitting around everywhere, but they're collector's items now. You don't see many of them sitting around. And we know barns like this growing up. Hung fun full of backer. And on the back roads, you see stuff like this all the time. I always seen that everywhere you went. And stuff like this on these old barns. Time's gone by. But nowadays, the old barns as they go away, it's cheaper because of the price of lumber and everything. They build metal buildings like this. So you see these in the landscape. But me, these are beautiful buildings now, these metal barns. But I guess I'm old school. I just like an old wooden barn. Just me. Now these old barns, they're slowly year after year going away. In another generation or so, unless somebody keeps them up, they'll all about be gone. But they're still here and people still use them. So there you go on the old barn. There are countless around this old country. So I want to thank you for watching. Take care. God bless. And I'll see you next time.